In this video, I'm going to show you how to take clips of your gameplay and automatically upload them as shorts into YouTube. So I play this game called Valorant and every now and again, I hit a good clip. Um, like in this one, I, I got an ace and so I'll, I'll clip that and it's like, oh, that's great. Well, <laughs> what am I going to do with that? Well, I wanted to upload these to YouTube, but gosh, I did not want to like download it and go and edit it. Like that's just too much time. All I wanted to do was hit export and basically have the, the robots of the universe do the work for me. So I have this set up so that all I have to do is change the name of the file. And this is important because this will eventually become the name of the, the short. And so then I'll export this, I'll do original. And then I'm going to export this into my Google Drive folder, into this fried Valorant folder, into ready to queue This is the folder where I'm dropping all of my files. That is all I have to do, okay? The rest of this is all automated and I'm going to show you how it's all set up so that if you wanted to do something similar, you could do the same thing. So the, the magic piece of the puzzle is Zapier. Zapier is a way to automate things and when something happens in one system, you can do something in another system. And I have five different zaps here that are making all of this work. The first one here is a zap that runs and you can see here it's named when added to drive store file name. So whenever I upload a file inside of my Google Drive folder, which you just saw me do, it uh, adds the name of that file to this create a row or to a spreadsheet. So if I go over to my drive here, we can come here and take a look at this. And this is the video I just uploaded. And that zap that, that is right here, this will add the name of this file to the Google Sheet. Let's see if it's in there yet. All right, it's not in there yet, but it, it will be once that zap runs. Okay, so we've uploaded a file and we've added the name to a Google Sheet. Okay, <laughs> so what's the next thing? Well, the next thing that runs automatically again is the zap here. It says every day check for a new clip to queue. As I'm uploading these, I wanted a new short to be uploaded every day. I didn't want all of them to be uploaded at once. So I set this up to delay so that every day we're gonna check to see if there's something new to upload. And it looks like right now I am have this set so that it's running at 5 p.m. every day. So at 5 p.m. every day, it's gonna look in that Google Sheet to see if there's a file name that needs to be uh, processed. It's going to take that file and move it to another Google Drive folder and then basically remove the name of files that needs to be moved. So if we come back here, it's moving it to here, basically to this queued to upload. So from ready to queue to queued to upload. So at 5 p.m. every day, it's gonna do that for me. Now the next step is step number three. Again, this is automated. So whenever a new file is added to this queued to upload folder, we're going to grab that file, grab the name of the file. That's what we're doing here. We're getting the name and removing the MP4 here so that we can put this as the YouTube title. And then we're going to upload this to a service that will take our horizontal video. Like right now you're watching something in landscape and it crops the video so it's a, a YouTube short and then it does some other stuff. And so let me show you how that's set up. So this is called Banner Bear and it's a way, it's traditionally made for like marketers creating ads systematically, but they do have a video processor here. So we've defined the parameters and then here we set up this video template so that we can call this and the name of the video is gonna go here and then the transcription of the audio is gonna go here and then the video that I'm actually playing is gonna be cropped and go on the green screen behind. One thing to note is that the transcription tool for Banner Bear sucks, <laughs> so bad. Um, but they do have the ability to hold, like they'll hold your transcription so you can come and check it before actually proceeding and publishing it. Um, but again, I wanted all this to be automa automated. So here are all the videos that I've done. So you can see here, um, this is like a video that's outputted from Banner Bear based off my upload. And you can see here the title of the video, the best Valorant flick you will see today. 
and then we got the transcription and the video. So again, so whenever a file is added here, which it happens at 5 p.m. every day, if there's a file to move, then we will send it to Banner Bear to be processed. Then we move on to number four. And this one triggers whenever a new video is done. So if you're not familiar with video editing, uh, there's like this render time when the video is like getting created. And so that's why we do this in a separate task. So this is whenever a video is done, we then will upload it to the YouTube channel, which is, you see all of these here. And so you can see if we look at the details of one of these, we have the title of the video. Um, so this is what I, the original file name goes as, as the title of the video and the description. And then we just automatic, automatically set it to public. So it's automatically published. And then the last thing that I did was in step number five, I wanted to get a link to the video. So send me a text message whenever the video is published on my YouTube channel. And so, yeah, we have this nice five step process here. So, so whenever I add a file to my Google Drive, it's going to write that file to this Google Sheet. Every day at 5 p.m., it checks to see if there's something in that Google Sheet that needs to be processed. If there is, it will move it to be processed. And then whenever something is moved to be processed, we send it to Banner Bear to um, basically create the short. And then once the video is created in Banner Bear, we upload it to YouTube. And then once a video is uploaded to YouTube, I get a text message that says, hey, <laughs> you just had a video uploaded. This right here, is a robot video editor and it's all powered by Zapier and Banner Bear. Now, this was a fun little side project again, just to kind of to have fun because I like playing video games and I wanted to do something fun with automation. Now, if you're trying to do this like legitly, you know, you should probably hire a video editor, but they will be, I mean, they, they cost money. So you have to weigh the, weigh the cost. With this, there are, with this approach, there are two costs associated with it. One is Zapier, which um, can be as little as I think like $25 a month. But the really big cost is Banner Bear, which I think is like $50 a month. So that's $75 a month, but effectively with this approach, you could do uh, you know one a day. So then you're putting out a short every day automatically. And so you have to kind of weigh the pros and cons of having like a, a really, uh, really well done short with all these graphics and stuff, or if you just wanna like get content out there, you can do that, this approach. So I hope you found this uh, video fun and useful. If you don't wanna miss any of my other fun projects, be sure to subscribe and let me know if there's something crazy you want me to do with Zappy or automation down in the comments. Cheers.